Welcome to Best Incorporated Soldering Tip of the Month. Hi, my name is Norman Meir, and I'm a Master Instructor for IPC A610, J Standard 001, and Rework and Repair. Today, this month, what we'll be doing is actually installing a PLCC j leader component. If you observed last month, I showed you the proper placement of how to install and orientate a PLCC. This month, what we'll be doing is actually going in and soldering it completely into place. The tip that we're going to be using is a bent conical tip. It is what is actually used to install j lead components because that gives you a better angle to actually come in and install it by hitting the pad and going into the leg just like this. Next thing you want to do is apply a little bit of flux. Clean your tip off very well of all solder residue into the center of the hole, go to the outer edge and finish cleaning. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to lay your solder in place just like so. Just go a little bit past the lead. That will give you plenty of solder to go all the way to the back. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to bring in your tip just like I'm showing here. Hit the solder. Hit the solder and slide all the way through it. And it will create a nice little solder joint. Again, just a little bit past it. Hit the solder. Slide it in. Next one. Hit the solder. Slide it in. If you notice, I moved the solder out of the way as soon as I hit it. Okay. The other side. Come in and focus a little bit, just like so. Come back in. Apply a little bit of flux. Lay your solder down into the area where you're going to solder. Just go past that leg a little bit. Solder will flow in. Go through the solder. What you do is you hesitate when you come onto that lead just a second. Okay, one right after the other. Okay, now you've got that soldered completely into place. Next thing you want to do is go to another side. Clean off your tip very well. Flux up the area where you're going to solder. Nice clean tip. Lay your lead free solder into place just like so. Go past that leg a little bit. See the solder flow come up just like that. Go to the next one, slide it in. Go to the next one, slide it in. Go to the next one, slide it in. And you notice that I'm getting wetting action all the way up there. That's also indicating to me that I'm getting solder flow to the back area, creating a nice heel fillet into the back side also. Next thing you do after you got this side done is turn your board once again. Apply flux. And just think, you only got five legs to go. Almost there. Woo -wee. Man, is this easy. Lay your solder into position just right there. Lay your solder into position just like that. Go a little bit past it. Slide it in through the solder. Lay your solder there. Slide it in. Creating that nice little solder joint. Go to the next one. 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 Got to add a little bit more solder to that one. Now look at the uniformity of my solder fills all the way across there. Doesn't that look nice? Grab some chem wipes, a little bit of isopropyl alcohol, and clean your. If you area. notice with a lead-free solder, even though it's nice concave, wetted all the way out to the edges, it still looks a little dull in appearance. Remember, that's what lead-free looks like. Man, these look like nice solder joints. Fully acceptable for meeting all IPC A610 standards requirements. My suggestion, finish production and ship it. Thank you very much. My name is Norman Meir from Best Incorporated. Have a nice day.